one of the most historic tracks on the Marbula One circuit, is also one of its most difficult, as the teams have weathered through qualifying and will now attempt to conquer Greenstone. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods up by the start-finish line, a track that has very different halves to it, or I should say thirds. The first two sectors weave like a babbling brook, appropriate for the Green Ducks moniker before the teams are allowed to open up the throttle. They come through an accelerator through a very swift third sector that can be deceptive too. You'll see time lost in many locations around this track, most notably at the end of Sector 2, right before the accelerator, hitting the walls back and forth there, or catching the walls at any point. They are an unspoken difficulty of this track. So many marbles get caught on them, even with just a glancing blow, especially coming off the accelerator, though, that can really slow you down. Well, unfortunately, the Green Ducks know something about slow after qualifying. Billy in dead last. We'll have to climb up the order and paddle quickly to make it up to the front where Swifty sits on pole in front of Tumult, Rima, and Club on the first two rows. And that's a great view of the layout. More corners here than on any track on the Marbula One season. And we're rolling! Swifty takes that outside line into the first turn and loses out, but gets it back as they begin the descent through the weaving first and second sectors. You will see some passes through here, but it's when the marbles choose to attack that could make all the difference. Swifty, Tumult, Rima, Starry, Club, also up there. Here comes Cloudy trying to look by Club, who goes backwards through the accelerator. Oh, Ducks, it appears, have left the pond out there. Don't see them watching. I was gonna make a comment about how they are enthralled with this race, but nope, they're gone. <laughs> All right. Billy has made up a spot, by the way. Here we take a look at the start-finish line. Swifty comes through. Momentary challenge from Starry, but then it goes back the other direction. Cloudy has made it up to third spot. Tumult fallen back to fourth. There you can see Orangen, who won this race back in season one, mired in the middle of the pack. That marble knows how to conquer these 23 turns, so a lot of eyes seeing what can be done there. As Red Eye now fighting with Billy back there for 17th spot. Up at the front, a challenge along the outside. Starry takes the lead, and they're going to be one, no, two steps apart as they come up the belt. Starry got fastest lap with nearly a 32 flat. We know that in an ideal lap time, a 30 seconds is perhaps possible, but on a track this long, it takes a while to rubber in. You can see that gap from second to third, the top two beginning to stretch away, but one misstep can close that right back up. Cloudy holding back Rima, Tumult, Ecto, Club, Bumble, Sirius, and Glimmer rounding out the top 10. Orangen comes up to 11th. Red Eye falling backward now, second to last. Billy up to 15th. The gap up front is 1.3 seconds for Starry. Chalk now takes fastest lap, 31.87. We are seeing improvement. Look at some of the lines these marbles are taking into that first turn. Some choosing to launch high up on the curbs, others staying more composed. Now for a track with this many turns, this much physicality, how much is Swifty just sitting back and watching? Oh, maybe had a chance to make the move there. Through the accelerator, Swifty gets by in much the same way that that marble captured pole position on the final lap of Q2 yesterday. Is Starry content to let Swifty lead some laps and perhaps get tired and then make the move? No, it happens that quickly. Some contact off the wall gets Swifty off the racing line and Starry gets by. Rima also wants a piece. These are our three podium finishers as they run right now. Question is, what order will they be in at the end or will other marbles have something to say about it? Really slow off that corner. Swifty does it again. A master of the third sector, Swifty is putting together a great performance. When it counts, it's just a matter of holding that lead through the rest of the lap. Oh, a three-way battle there for second place, and here we go once again. This time it's Rima going up to the top spot. Could it be that Swifty is letting these other marbles do the pacing through these most difficult turns? Let them tire themselves out. Let them make the choices for where they want to run. Swifty knows that you can stay within striking distance. And actually, right before the accelerator, you just saw it on the edge of your screen there, Swifty took back P1. 
also making moves is right there, Orangen, who takes fastest lap in the process. 31.27. The track is speeding up, so is Orangen, climbing all the way up to 7. Billy only made it up one more spot, down to 14. The lead for Swifty has grown, wandering through the second sector over Rima, Starry, Cloudy, and Ecto. Sirius is also right there and has been making up some ground. Club and Bumble behind Orangen and Tumult rounding out the top 10, who has fallen backwards from what looked to be a prime starting spot. Nice third sector here for Rima, who is ever so closer to Swifty. Take a look farther back in the field. Red Eye now runs dead last. I'm glad the camera lingered there just a moment because wow, 10 seconds off of the lead is Red Eye. Swifty managing the pace. Rima, second place, maybe four lengths back. These turns right through here is all oh, where it's made or broken. And right there, Rima capitalizes and takes top spot. Can Swifty carry that speed around? Yes, indeed. Swifty is just goading them into taking the lead, heading into the third sector before saying, I'll take that back if you please. Here comes Swifty down through sector number one. Orangen still holding in seventh spot. Still plenty of time for that marble to try to make it two in a row here at Greenstone at least. As now Rizzi takes that infamous 20th position. Little bumps on the inside of that turn there. Nearly every marble doing it. Oh, Bumble did not, however, and makes up two spots as a result. Final couple of laps. Just under one and a half seconds is the lead by Swifty, who has managed this race as calmly as can be. The fans willing Billy to keep climbing up the order. Has gotten up to 13th. They'd love a top 10 here after a disaster of a qualifying, but will it happen? Also, what about the Cobalt? Cerulean back there in just 18. We're taking a look at this great battle. Back and forth they go. Frost gets by. Cerulean trying to capitalize on momentum from teammate Royal, who won two straight and is getting a well-deserved rest this weekend as we head into the final lap. This battle mid-pack is heating up. What about up front? Is that going to stay measured? Swifty over Rima. Big gap back to Cloudy. Starry, Ecto. Oh, Ecto gets by for fourth spot. Then it's Bumble, Origin, Sirius, Momo, and Club. Heading into the third sector. Can Swifty hold it? Around the final couple of turns, the Savage Speeders have converted pole position to a win. Swifty with a dominant performance. Rizzi, the final finisher there, nearly 15 seconds back. Billy had a terrible closing stretch to that race, losing all of the spots that that marble gained and falling back to 19. Ouch. Shout out to Isaiah Francis, by the way. He's been a Yellas Marble Runs fan for the last five years. Thank you for your support, Isaiah. Well, Swifty needed a great result here. This is the second race that Swifty has run in this season. This is also that Marble's first ever win in Marbula One. The Savage Speeders, they are accustomed to success in this discipline. And now we get to compare two Grand Prix for everybody. Royal is the leader of the individual championship over Speedy, Cloudy very close behind, Swifty, Ecto, and Momo. Look at those jumps, 10 spots, 10 spots, 16 spots, 10 for Shimmer, 16 for Frost. And the overall championship for the teams, it is a runaway right now for the Savage Speeders. They jump up one. The Hazers in second place, 18 points back. Team Plasma and the Cobalts fell three. Two 25s and then a zero. Not what they want to continue momentum throughout the season. We hope that you will join us for the fifth Grand Prix here in Marbula One. We'll see you then.